Hey Bozo, last year I had started out by making games using letters, and I had slowly improved until I could make them out of basic 2D shapes. This year I had taken a revolutionary step by making 3D graphics myself. Get it? Revolutionary? Cause... It's spinning. The very first step to making 3D graphics is to read and interpret object files. These are collections of values which tell us where each point is, how they connect, and what colors to use. After saving these values, we form the model within local space. By scaling, rotating, and translating the model, we can convert these local coordinates into coordinates on... Oh... Oh... We can convert these local coordinates into coordinates in our scene. Coordinates. Coordinate coordinates into local into coordinates in our in translating the model we can convert these local coordinates into coordinates in our scene. I'm taking it. Skirt. Skirt. Within your computer you've got what's called the generative picture union, or GPU for short. Every time something is drawn onto the screen, the GPU has to be reset. Do this often enough and things start to slow down. But what if you want to draw many objects at once? Turns out the, uh... Oh my god. Oh my god! Turns out, OpenGL has a workaround for this. Get it? Turns... Around? It's because it's spin- Instead of drawing each shape out one at a time, we can save processing power by using a shape like a stamp. This means that there is little difference between drawing one shape and drawing thousands. And that's it. There are a few other things I could talk about, but I'll just answer any questions in the comments. Like, now that you know how to make 3D graphics, when are we gonna see a 3D game?